See, correct me if I'm wrong, but from my perspective, the arrogant ones are the ones that are making claims as to what happens after we die. Now, you're free to believe what you want about the afterlife, kind of like how I believe that there isn't one, but if your belief is to tell other people that they are going to burn in hell for all eternity for not believing what you believe, well, then fuck you very much. Because not only do I get told multiple times a day that I'm going to hell, I have people express excitement to see me there. Not because I'm a bad person, I'm in fact a pretty good person. But none of that matters if I don't also subscribe to your religion. See, I don't require fear of burning for eternity in hell if I'm not a good person. I also don't need the promise of spending eternity in paradise to incentivize me to be a good person. I try to be a good person because I want to be a good person. That is its own reward. Oh, and uh, if you subscribe to a belief that uses fear to control and manipulate people, then mocking that belief is something I think a good person would do. You know, firstly, I just want to say to this guy, if you've had people that yell at you and, and say that you're going to hell and say hateful things to you, I'm sorry, because that's not a good representation of Christianity. It's just not. Shouting at people, screaming at them, condemning them, that's not the way that we should go about it at all, especially without the key information of the gospel. How are people supposed to understand any of this stuff if all we yell at them is hate and condemnation? They need to understand what is sin? What Have I sinned? How do I even understand that? And also, what has Jesus done on my behalf? I want to talk about this other aspect that this guy is talking about. He's saying that Christians are prideful because they presume that something happens to you after you die. And how would they know that? Well, I think it's ironic because God has revealed himself through his word. Eyewitness accounts of things that have happened that were fulfillment of prophecies that had been prophesied about hundreds of years before they happened. They were fulfilled. They were written down. And this word had been preserved over thousands of years that have real world application applications for us today. And yet we dispose of that saying that it's fairy tales. That is a prideful response. It's not the prideful ones. Like we're not being prideful by taking God at his word and saying, okay, I got to apply this to my life. I got to believe this. No, it's actually prideful to say, dispose of it. And to say that I know better, that's the prideful response. This fellow proclaims himself to be a good person, that he is a good person outside of Christianity, that he doesn't need the penalty of hell as motivation to be a good person. Well, here's the thing. None of us are good people. That's what the Bible says, that we are dead in our trespasses and sins, that we have all fallen short of the glory of God. And that's the bad news, that we cannot be good on our own, that all of our attempts to be good, we all fall short. And and this fellow falls short too, that he has this blind, he has blinders on to, to not see the fact that he has truly fallen short. He, he thinks he's a good guy. And so, no, yeah, it's Christianity is not about trying to be a, a better person and, and fixing your life so you don't go to hell. No, it's about recognizing, look, I have sinned before a good, just, and holy God, and I am in, I am deserving of his wrath and his judgment. But then recognizing the gospel, the good news, the glorious truth that Jesus in his mercy came to this earth, fully God and fully man, to live the life we could not live, to die on the cross, the death we des deserve to die for our sins. He rose again. And so we would be free, that we would have eternal life, not because we were good enough, not because we were smart enough, not because we were humble enough but because God is just that gracious and that merciful. And when we put our faith in him, we are given a new identity. That's so amazing. And that's so freeing. This man paints a picture of like Christianity is this kind of fear mongering religion that says, if you don't do all the right stuff, you're going to hell and, and delights in people going to hell. No, no, no. Hell is a just punishment for those who rebel against God because God is so holy and just. He has to punish sin. When we compare ourselves with other people, we see ourselves as a good person. But when we compare ourselves against God, we understand that we fall infinitely short. He paints it as though Christians motivation for doing good things is the fear of burning in hell but that is completely misguided because we have been already been given God's grace so we are free from the the punishment of sin the penalty of sin so now we're free to live for Christ out of love and out of grace that overflow of what God has shown to us it's not this burden filled oh my goodness I gotta do everything right so I don't go to hell it's God in his grace has freed me from the penalty of sin. So now I can live freely with love and grace 
calling others to that same rest that I've found in Christ. That's amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, I encourage you to give a like down below and subscribe because I'm putting out new videos all the time. This video is brought to you by all the people on Patreon. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting what I'm doing. I will see you guys next time. God bless.